close your eyes and watch your breath. When the breath comes in, think but when it goes out, think to butto. The quality of awake. That's the kind of quality we're trying to develop in the mind. You want to be awake to the present moment. When the breath is coming in, you know it's coming in. When it goes out, you know it's going out. Stay right with what's happening. And make sure you do this well. Make up your mind. You really want to get something out of this. It's like the attitude we should have toward life. Too many people just get up in the morning, go to work, come home, have a little food, go to sleep. Just the days go past, go past, and nothing gets developed. Nothing really. You make enough money to get by, but that's about it. Is that what life is about? It shouldn't be. And as the Buddha said, if you want your life to be an auspicious life, you have to give it a direction. Atasama Baniticha. Be well directed in the right way. You have to ask yourself, what direction do you want your life to go in? There are basically two ones. There's darkness and there's light. As the Buddha said, some people are born in darkness, they're born into difficult situations. Some people are born in light, they're born in the easiest situations. But what you're born into is not the really the real issue. The issue is what you, how you go, where you go from there. You go into dark and you break the precepts. You don't live a life where you're helpful to other people. You're not developing good qualities of mind, and you're going to go down when you leave this life. As for going into light, okay, that you observe the precepts. You're generous. You meditate. You make something out of your life. You give your life a good direction. So you ask yourself, what direction is your life going in right now? What things need to be changed so it goes in a good direction? If it's well directed, because there's a sense of well being that you're getting something out of this human birth. It's a very difficult thing to be born as a human being. So you don't want to throw it away. You want to make sure that each day you've developed some of the perfections, whether it's endurance or patience, equanimity, goodwill, wisdom, virtue, generosity, whatever perfections you see you're lacking in, those are the ones you should work on. Make, give your day a purpose every day, every day. When you get up in the morning, ask yourself, okay, what perfections am I going to develop today? And sometimes you find yourself having to develop some unexpected ones. But at the very least, you aim in the, in the direction of the perfections, the barmies. That's what you want to have as your profit of your life after you've gone. Too many people live a life when they come out and it's a loss. They started out as human beings and the state of the mind is not human by the time of the end. You want it to be the other way around. You start out as a human being and you raise the level of your mind to something higher, something better. So you're the one who gives it direction. Don't let other people force their direction on you. You've got to give a direction where your life has meaning, a meaning that lasts. Don't just go through the day. Give the day a direction. You can give yourself a direction. Give your life a direction. It's all up to you.